Every night for every day yeah. Every day patches the night up Oh god, you should match it, it's that KO No one night, I still off up my 28 up Nights and money, you my family had that chilling with my friends having a little time and yeah that's basically it get my piercing done and i'm basically going out with friends and all that stuff this vlog is going to be probably the most random vlog ever but yeah that's basically it i'm gonna be taking these pictures by myself i'm gonna be using my tripod I don't know how to feel because I've been taking pictures with this tripod lately and I just don't know how to feel about them. We'll see how it goes though. Okay guys, so I am basically back from taking pictures. Wait, let me take this off. So I'm basically back from taking pictures and these how the pictures look. I don't know how to feel about them. I don't know how to feel about them yet. I'm going to try and check them out again. Um, we'll see. I feel like... You know when someone takes a picture for you, I feel like when someone takes a picture for you, it's better, the angle's nicer, you can actually tell them where to go and what they're doing right or what they're doing wrong. And for someone to actually guide you on how you're doing and how your poses are, whilst, you know, when you're taking them by yourself, no one's guiding you. No one's guiding you at all. It's literally by yourself. You literally just have to say like, oh, are these nice? In your own head. So, yeah. I don't know how to feel about them. I think I just need to be more confident with it and just stop overthinking about it too much. But yeah, I'm gonna double check them again. But I don't know. It's all right. I just feel like I can do better. Maybe I'm too harsh on myself. But I definitely feel like when someone takes a picture of you, it's so much better than taking them by yourself. But that is just my opinion. <laughs> Okay guys, so basically I got, I got my belly button pierced. I don't know if you guys can even hear me, there's a lot of noise, like hold on. I basically got my belly button pierced. And I don't know how to feel. I'm in a bit of pain, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's like a huge pinch. Like, it wasn't even like a little pinch, it was like a huge pinch. Oh my god, I love it though. I've been wanting this piercing since like 18 and I never had the guts to do it and now I finally did it. I'm just so gassed right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I can't believe I got one. Hi guys, so basically this is an update on what's going on with me and my life and all that stuff. So if you guys have actually been watching me, I was kind of going through a phase, like a depressing, very depressing phase where I had no job. I was thinking, what the hell am I going to do and all this stuff? Because obviously, like, after uni, I was meant to, you know, go into acting and all that stuff. But then COVID messed it all up. And then I'm just thinking, like, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? What's going on here? Am I just staying at home being depressed? Yes. That was basically what was happening with me and yeah like i was really depressed like i yeah like i don't know <laughs> i don't know how else to put it i was literally just at home doing nothing because i was thinking like why like what am i meant to do like obviously i was looking for job for time like like i didn't mind if it was anything like i was looking for a job for time and i was thinking like no one wants me it's so hard what the hell especially during like covid and stuff jobs obviously it's going to be harder to get a job now but yeah um long story short i got a job now i'm working at retail at the moment and to be honest i'm just trying to save up as much as i can and see where my life goes i feel like when you're officially financially stable 
that's when I can finally chill and relax and just do me and do whatever and that's why I haven't even been that consistent of YouTube because most of the time I'm working but I'm now trying to you know schedule my timing better and more properly so yeah I feel like I'm definitely more happy I'm in like a much better place I feel like when I was just working 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 I honestly I was barely talking to anyone because I'm thinking like I'm depressed like why would I talk to you <laughs> it sounds bad but yeah um so yeah I'm in a much better place like even as soon as I first got my first like paycheck I was like listen I'm gonna glam myself up because that's what I love to do especially when I'm down like when I'm down you're just gonna see me look bummy like I promise you I was looking bummy I usually like a previous clip of what I was gonna post but I was like no like I actually look like a bum like what am I doing like what am I doing like what is that so um yeah uh I'm just really happy that you know I feel like I'm on the right track at the moment I'm literally just trying to save 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 up for money and all this stuff to do what I want to do which is create content create content for Instagram because I love fashion like um and also to create content on youtube and there's gonna be yeah like i say to you guys all the time there's gonna be more story times and etc etc you already know the vibes so yeah i am so happy for that i'm just i'm definitely i'm in a better mood i'm in a better place and i'm ready <laughs> so i don't know why i'm starting to get a tad bit emotional i don't know where i i don't know where this is coming from I think I'm just happy and I'm just I'm in a better place but like apart from that besides that I'd probably say the only downside that I had was my birthday I felt like not a lot of people were there for my birthday the people who I thought would actually be there were not there and it made me really down for quite a while as well I feel like at that moment when um I barely had enough money for my birthday and for my friends to not be there either it just put me so down i mean i did celebrate it quite a bit i'll probably show a few clips here and there of how my birthday went <laughs> um it was lit the two people who were there for me i love you I love you so much um but as for the rest of you i'm sorry but you just really let me down um but i guess that's with birthdays i think that's why i think i'm starting out on the slide hate birthdays now because i feel like you have to really depend on people to actually be there for you and i can't stand it because it's like if they're not there then how is this whole birthday gonna be do you know what i mean so I don't know, maybe I need new friends, I don't know, I actually don't know anymore, it's not a point like when it comes to my friendships, I've been kind of questioning people all of a sudden and I just don't know anymore, so yeah with friendships it's all a bit of a, a bit of a mess up, <laughs> so yeah, um, that is literally my update, like I'm just kind of tired of relying on people to be happy in general not even just like a birthday thing but like in general so i'm just gonna i'm probably gonna make it as a vlog but like i'm gonna do stuff that make me happy by myself and see where that takes me because i'm just tired of relying on people all the time so yeah that is literally it that's literally it with me that's kind of like an update with me and I don't know why my voice is so shaky right now but yeah anyways um that's it and yeah. <laughs>
and I wasn't feeling it before <laughs> I was okay but then you know when you wait a bit and now it's like creeping up it's creeping up and now and now I'm feeling it like I wasn't I never spit at it I never spit at it I never spit at it okay guys so this is my finished makeup look and yeah i think it's nice simple but i still look good period so yeah honestly guys ignore my lace front oh i freaking hate it i can't wait to get a new lace frontal new nice and full tantalizing okay i need to stop i'm actually waved this i need some better like this thank you If you want a sweet scent get that perfume it's so good oh my gosh but yeah guys i guess i'm gonna be waiting in my house for a bit because i got ready too early okay guys so basically i'm at the train station and yeah i'm going to see so yeah, i'm at the train station i'm gonna meet up with my friends now um, yeah that's it really this is my outfit cute i like it now my train's coming, so yeah. So I got Cheerios, I mean Cheerios, from Box Park. And it's so nice, I got, um, I got white chocolate with it, white chocolate sauce as well. And it's so good. And then I got this, I got she this, got this. I got this sexy. Ooh. Cheers! <laughs> I was just like, yeah, no, <laughs> I need to get out of it. Okay, guys, it's time for me to go. It's been fun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shout out to everybody. Yeah, I had fun. Bye. Like, I'm gone. I need to get out of it. The ghetto. <laughs> nah, um, but I had a lit time. I just thought it would be more lit. Because I've, I've been to probably like one or two events and that, and it was better before. But it wasn't that lit. Like, nah, like, it was lit, but it wasn't as lit as I thought it would be. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting to a certain age. I'm just like, is any of this even exciting for me anymore? Like, I feel like I need a different scenery. I feel like I need, like, a bit more of a bougie vibe than all of these, you know, nights out that would be, like, lit. But then next thing you know, something weird is happening. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, so that's basically the end of the vlog. I'm sorry I didn't end it properly. I literally forgot to end the vlog. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.